Okay, I purchased a uh, Hangs RV chandelier. It's a new product that came out. I have 26 LED lights in this small 30 foot RV and not one of them is dimmable. So this one I saw and I figured if I can install this around the fan, I also purchased this remote dimmer I'm going to attach to it. This way we can dim the lights in here a little bit so it's not so bright. And in the package, it's pretty basic. It comes with a ring. Your LEDs are inside here. The back of it, it's just a positive and negative. And it comes with a on and off switch. I'm going to connect the on and off switch, but I'm also going to connect the dimmer that I purchased separately. Now I'm going to put this on a fantastic ring, a fantastic fan ring. And the screw holes that are here are for a standard hangs vent so this would fit exactly in my bathroom but for the fantastic fans the screw holes are off a little bit so I'm gonna have to drill four new holes when I get it down and then we'll put it up and see what it looks like okay so the first thing we're gonna do is remove these four screws and drop down the inner ring for the fan These are removed slowly pull down on this and this is nothing more than a plastic shroud that covers yeah basically it's a finished trim so now what I have to do is I have to find out I have to get in here and get the wires okay so a closer look I've removed that shroud and you can see the wires here that's coming from the rig this is 12 volt and it connects to the fan they're fed up in here Okay, so your black is positive and your white is negative. So basically all I have to do is remove these caps and connect in the wiring for the new light with the switch. I've removed the caps from the wires and for this purpose for 12 volt, your black is your positive, your white is your negative. All I'm doing is running some jumpers here. I'm going to put this on the light. I want to verify that the light works before I go through all this wiring. And once I connect this, I should get light. I do. And all of the LEDs are working, so I can continue without being wasted time. Okay, so just to show you what I've done so far, after I drilled the holes in the LED ring, I drilled a hole in the shroud to feed the LED wires through, and I've installed the switch on the side, and those two wires come out here. And I'll make my positive connection down here. Okay, in addition, I'm going to wire in this LED controller that I purchased separately. This is going to allow me to dim the light. And as you can see, it says on the left-hand side, 5 to 24 volts. That's going to be to the power side. And it tells you that the right-hand side is for connection to the LED light side. Pretty simple, red positive, black negative. Okay. Okay, just to show you what I've done here, I have connected this LED dimmer controller positive to positive, negative to negative on the light. Then I've run the positive to the positive output of the switch, and this will connect to the negative. So once I get up in the ceiling, we're going to connect this to the positive this wire to the negative and hopefully this controller will let me dim it and when I want to kill it all together I can press this switch which will kill power even to the dimmer I'm going to cap all these off tape them up and then we'll go up in the ceiling okay so basically what I've done is I've made the connections for the LED controller I use some hot glue to keep it to the side here so I can get it up there with any problem I'm going to make my connections to the negative 
into the positive 12 volt feed and then we'll screw it up. Okay, I made my connections. I put some uh, crush nuts on there. Wires are nice and tight. Now I'm gonna hide those wires back up where they were. And the trick is to get all of this up in one nice piece so we can attach it to the ceiling. Hide those wires. Okay, so now it's up and I bring you closer there's the switch I got to clean it up a little my hands are dirty there's the on and off switch I can kill the power completely and as you can see I'll come back with it on, not on you can't even tell that there was anything there that looks stock and let me get the remote and we'll see how it looks Okay, I just wanted to show it to you installed. That's with it on. That's with the other lights on. Uh, I'll show you uh, with the lights off in a second. But uh, it looks great. And it looks like it belongs there. Doesn't look like an add-on or anything else. If I turn the light off, you can't even see that ring. Like I said, it just looks like part of the vent trim. All right, let me turn the lights off and we'll see how it lights up the rig. Okay, I have the lights uh, all out and it's a little dark in here, but now I'll press it on with my remote. And that is bright. It's on 100%. And the buttons on the remote, I can go automatically to 50%. Now, that looks like it's flickering on the video, but it is not flickering in person. That's just the video that's doing that. And I can go to 25%. And that is perfect. That gives a nice low light in here, which is much needed. Like I said, I have 26 LEDs in here, and every one is super bright. And again, that's blinking on the video, but that is not blinking in person. That's just a video, the way it films LEDs. Again, this was the uh, Hangs Vent Trim Light. I think I paid about $30 on Amazon for it. It was a pretty easy install. It probably took uh, 35 minutes, but I was filming at the same time, so not too bad. And I bought the extra RF uh, remote so I can dim it. And uh, I'd say a positive upgrade. I will leave links to both the light and the remote in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.